Alright boys, it's Arm9. Today we're going to be customizing the Visser Neo in Grand Theft Auto Online. I actually uh, really don't like this car, but I figured it's been a long time since I gave it a customization and a review, so I thought I should probably do one again. It's also on sale this week, so that, uh, that definitely helps me to uh, feel encouraged to make a, uh, a customization of it. So we're going to see what we can do to this thing. We're going to uh, try to make it look good, uh, which is going to be nearly impossible because I think this is one of the ugliest cars in the game, which I know is controversial. A lot of people really like how this thing looks apparently, but uh, for the armor, we're going to start off here. $50,000 for the armor upgrade, race brakes, of course, got to put those on. For the bumpers, we do have quite a few different options for this vehicle. Um, I've never gone for like a full race build on the Visser Neo, so maybe that's something that I should try to, uh, you know, see if I like it. Um, However, the ridged splitter kind of looks really good in my opinion, so I'm kind of tempted to go for that. Maybe we will. Let's let's put that on for right now. For the rear bumper, we have a couple of things that we can do here. Uh, let's go for the custom diffuser. I think it's the best looking of the three options here. Uh, these ones are just pretty basic, I think. So yeah, we'll just uh, we'll go for the last option there. And for the engine, we do have some customization here, which is kind of nice. This is, a, I feel like, kind of a rare thing. Uh, the only problem that I see with this is all of these like V8 engines look really, really old, which I'm not a fan of. Like they look like they're ancient V8s in a, you know, very modern car. Um, so that's, you know, interesting. But anyways, um, let's go for the Mark II secondary painted or no Mark I secondary painted. Let's do that. I like the look of that. I think it's pretty cool for the engine upgrade. Let's go all the way up. Obviously, we're going to need to do that. And for the exhaust, this car has a lot of exhausts and it's got some ridiculous options here as you guys will see in just a second here where, yep, yeah, there it is. The Okta exhaust. I don't know what Rockstar was thinking with this, but uh, yeah, it's it should be illegal, I feel like. Um, let's go for the Titanium Infinity exhaust for this. I think that's gonna, uh, I think that's gonna look pretty good. For the grill on this car, we have quite a few different things we can do here. We got the, uh, ooh, we got the custom carbon grill. Something about that I actually like, but we'll have to see what we can do here. Um, it's weird because with certain ones of these grills, it also looks like it belongs to like an old car. Like these these grinder grills, they look really old to me, um, which I'm not a super fan of on such a such a modern car. But anyways, regardless, that's fine. Um, the carbon viscer grill isn't bad at all. The other one that I was looking at is maybe the roadster grill or just the uh, the open grill here. I think that I kind of like the look of the carbon viscer grill though the best. So we're going to go for that one for right now. For the hood, we have quite a few different options here. We'll scroll through them real quick. Um, I do kind of like the rally spec hood. That is kind of nice. If we were going for a full race build, I might choose that one. Um, for this one though, maybe maybe the inset hood. The inset hood's not too bad. Um, I don't mind that at all. Let's let's go inset. Let's go inset for right now. Uh, for the hood catches, we can go classic or modern. Again, another like weird classic option on a modern car. I just don't I just don't know how I feel about it. But uh, I don't I don't think we're gonna put on the hood latches. Don't really love the look of them, so we'll leave them off the car. Xenon for the headlights, though we will we will be going for that. Uh, maybe a neon kit today? I don't know. It would probably help this thing traction wise. We're gonna do a neon kit. I'm not gonna change the color. We're gonna leave it alone, but uh, we are gonna put the neon kit on. Now we do have some livery options here. We got the black stripes, the red abstraction, as well as the gold abstraction. We got the Visser stripes. We have the Fukaru Krawax. I do like that a lot um, on the side. I don't really love this, but on the side, I think it looks great. I got the track day, the alternate track day as well. The two-tone augury insurance. We have the Dutch motor market, the neon 52 and back to none. You know, I am actually rethinking if I want to maybe go for a, uh, for a race build with this car right now, because some of these liveries are pretty awesome. I think I'm actually going to switch it up. I'm going to go for the Fukaru Krawax uh, livery for this car. And we are actually going to add the hood catches on real quick and for the grill or sorry, the hood itself. Uh, we will go for, should I go for the carbon? I don't honestly hate it. I don't know. I feel like the rally spec hood just regular without the carbon looks a little better. So we'll go for that. Um, and for the bumpers, the front bumper, I think I'm going to go for the carbon race splitter. I think that's going to look a little, a little better, a little more, a little more matchy sort of. So we'll do that. Yellow and black for the plate for sure. For the color, what do we want to do? Honestly, why does it look good in a purple? That actually looks like quite good. 
I, I don't I don't mind that look at all actually uh, that is an option that is an option it's not very often that I'll do a purple card we could even go midnight purple that, that is something we could that is something we could do I feel like it looks good in these like darker colors what about like a galaxy blue Ooh, or midnight blue you know what the midnight blue is not bad same with the galaxy though what if we went for the midnight blue for the primary and then for the secondary we'll also go midnight blue okay that's that's looking that's looking good that's looking good for the trim color let's just do black uh but for the pearlescent what if we what if we go for something like kind of weird what if we go for like a red or something somebody suggested this in my comments and it makes the card look like a uh, look like sort of like a galaxy sort of thing and i actually do kind of like the idea of a, maybe a cabernet red with the with the midnight blue i don't know adds just a nice little like hint of red it's kind of cool it almost makes it purpley sort of i don't i don't hate the look of it honestly i don't hate the look of it what about like a sunset red though you know what let's let's go cabernet let's go cabernet for that hopefully you guys don't hate this uh we'll see though uh vortex generators we have quite a few of these that we can uh, that we could go for what is the roof wedges though oh that's on the front um, I don't mind that. However, I feel like this thing almost needs the vortex generators though. Like, I feel like it looks so empty right there, you know what I mean? Um, what if we go for the racing roof kit? Oh, that has those as well. That's not bad. Let's, let's do, that's, um, I don't know actually. Let's go for the roof wedges. I, I kind of want to leave that alone up there, I think. Uh, for the skirts, we are going to go for the carbon GT skirts, I think. I think I like the look of that the best, so we'll do that. For the spoilers on this car, we have quite a few different options here. Oh, that's actually... It's actually kind of a nice spoiler right there. I don't mind the look of that. Uh, we got the drag spoiler as well, the GT, and the XL GT as well. I honestly don't mind the look of... Uh, this or the uh, or the arrow spoiler. That's not bad. You know, I almost like it with four better. I think though. I don't know. At the same time, the street spoiler is not bad either though. Or the drag. You know, the drag spoiler. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Could potentially go for that. You know, the XL GT is a nice like in between. I, I like that. We're gonna go for that one. Transmission. This is one of few cars that has a super transmission. So let's put one on. Turbo tuning. Let's do that as well for the wheels. Um, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if we go for some Cheetah RRs? Okay, not not a bad not a bad looking wheel for this car. And then what if we paint them in a midnight purple? You know what? I don't hate the look of it. Or we could go for a white. You know what? I don't mind the white. Let's do the white. Let's do the white. And for the tires, let's go bulletproof on those. For the windows, I feel like I want to tint them out because the whole top of this car is wide open. Typically, I wouldn't tint a race car's uh, windows, but I think today that we, we actually are going to do that. So I'm pretty happy with how this has turned out so far. Let's take it outside and uh, see what it looks like in the sunlight. Hopefully that uh, that Cabernet Red on the Midnight Blue looks good. And I think that it does, honestly. I think it looks... I think it looks pretty pretty good it's like it's like hardly noticeable but it's noticeable enough you know what i mean so um i kind of like it i'm pretty happy with this build so far actually um of course we got to do a sound test and a full review on the car so let's uh, let's quickly take a listen here It's not bad sounding. Um, it, it definitely could be worse. It could be a lot better too. Uh, but I, I'd say I'd say it's like a it's like a seven out of ten sort of thing. It's it's like a pretty average sound. There's a lot of cars that have this sound. Um, I feel like I think uh, I think one of the things that I dislike the most about the Visu Neo. I don't mean to start out negative, uh, but is that huge tail light on this thing. I think I think it's just so big, um, and, and it is a cool like unique design feature. But I just don't love how it kind of turned out on the Visu Neo. I, I think if it was like thinner maybe, or if there's, you know, at some point in it, there was like a break in it, uh, that would have been cool. But overall, I mean, I, it, it could be, well, maybe it could be worse. I don't know. I can't really think of something worse right now, but I'm sure there is something. So um, anyways, that's, that's a big thing that I don't like. Same with the exhausts, like having eight exhausts is just, that's ridiculous. I know it's an option. You don't have to pick it obviously, but just even having that as an option, it's just like, what? So yeah. Um, but of course we got to talk about the Visu Neo and, and its performance overall. I will say this is an extremely fast car in a straight line, extremely fast. It's so fast. The handling as well, um, is, is good at face value until it's not, um, 
And what I mean by that is this car is perfect, 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 and then all of a sudden you're oversteering like way too much. Uh, with that being said, it is very easy to control. However, the oversteer definitely can sneak up on you a little bit. You can think that you're going through a corner just fine, and then next thing you know, your tail end is out. Um, it's not the worst oversteer ever. I mean, it's certainly not as bad as something like the Gauntlet Hellfire or something like that. Uh, but it also is kind of weird because it almost feels like the car has understeer to a degree and then all of a sudden it's just oversteer. So it's kind of hard to find the balance, you know what I mean? Like between, you know, how hard to turn into a corner or not. Uh, so, you know, that is something you're gonna have to learn about with the Visu Neo. Uh, while it's on sale for 1.3 mil, I don't think it's necessarily a terrible price. Um, it's got a little bit of customization. It's pretty fast, but overall, I feel like, um, you know, it, unless it's a car that you absolutely love that you've been looking at getting for a long time, I would say you probably are going to want to avoid this thing because there's honestly just better cars out there uh, that will fill the exact same role that the Visu Neo fills. So it, it's just not quite a special car, unfortunately. And I just think for, for the regular price, which is like $1.8 million, I just feel like it's overpriced for what it is. Um, obviously, you could argue that for a lot of cars in GTA, but I, I truly feel like the value of this car is um, not as high as the price price tag. Uh, overall, it's a, it's a decent car. It used to be a top 10 fastest sports car in GTA Online, uh, but nowadays it's outside of the top 10. It's really not that competitive for sports class racing, and it's really not that fast in free mode. The acceleration is good. It is all-wheel drive, of course, but yeah, the handling is its biggest drawback. The top speed is also not super high, I would say. So really, there's just better cars you could get. I mean, for literally less money than the Vista Neo, you could get an Ocelot Pariah. And that's, you know, the, one of the highest top speed cars in the entire game. It's got, you know, arguably just as good of handling, I'd say. The only thing that's worse is maybe the launch off the line. So it, when you put it like that, the Ocelot Pariah seems pretty good for 400000 less than this thing is at its full price. So just keep that in mind, guys. Obviously, if you want a Visu Neo, I'm not going to stop you from purchasing one. I am just uh, here to tell you guys what I think of it. For the most part, honestly, it is a pretty decent car. But uh, yeah, that was a moment right there where, where it just oversteered uncontrollably and that will happen to you. But uh, you know what? Maybe if you drive the car enough, you can uh, you can stop that from happening. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the video. If you guys enjoyed this customization of the Visu Neo, if you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you enjoy. If not, dislike, of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Hey, ace.